Hi all, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will see what are the Aflow HTTP operators and uh, use cases. So before going to the actual demo, we'll try to discuss some concepts related to HTTPS operators and then we'll quickly move on to the demo, okay? Here I will try to give a high level information which is very much required by this demo related to web APIs that is HTTPS endpoints, okay? So there is a standard process or a standard mechanism how to interact with this web APIs, right? By using different HTTPS methods like get, put, post, write and other methods also available. We'll using all these methods based on our requirement, we'll try to communicate with the web APIs or HTTPS endpoints, okay? So now, why we use these operators that is https a flow operator right so you know how a flow works using different operator it will try to execute the task which are defined within the DAP. okay so in order to interact with https endpoints airflow is providing these http operators using these operators only we, we will be able to interact with the https endpoints okay so I hope it is clear and in your data engineering use case, if you have a HTTPS servers acting as a source, that means uh, you will have to extract the data from HTTPS servers and then if you have to apply the transformation and then if you have to write the data into target systems, okay? So there are many ways to do it. So Airflow HTTPS operator is one such option available for us to extract the data from HTTPS endpoints and based on that data, you can apply your user defined transformation and you can write the data into target systems, okay? So I hope this is clear. So as part of this video, we will try to see Airflow connections, okay? Through Airflow Web UI, we have an option to set up different connections. So connection can be anything. It can be a HTTPS connection like HTTPS host name and other details. It can be a database connection like if you have a MySQL database, if you have to interact with the MySQL database using Airflow operators, right? So you will have to set up the connection. So you can set up all those connection using our Airflow web UI interface, okay? So the next one is very important concept that is XCOM, okay? So this is a cross communicator between two different Airflow tasks, okay? For example, let's say you have a requirement where your task two is depending on the task one output. In such case, by using XCOM, so you will just pass that output data from which is coming from the task one to the task two. So this will help to accomplish that particular requirement, okay? So finally, the actual use case implementation where, so first of all, I will, try to show the demo where we'll try to connect to an HTTPS endpoint using our Airflow simple HTTP operator and we'll extract the data using get method and uh, we'll try to examine the data which is being written to this XCOM variable, okay? So as part of first demo, we are going to have only one task, okay? In the second demo, what we'll do? So this is an extension of the first demo where once we have the data in this XCAM variable, we'll try to pull out the data and we'll format the data as per our requirement and we'll try to write the data into one of the Google Cloud storage system like Google Cloud storage bucket, okay? So I hope this is clear. Okay, here we are. We are into our composure environment. So before examining our first use case DAC code, let us examine our HTTPS endpoint, okay? So, okay, this is our publicly available uh, HTTPS endpoint. Let us examine this data, how it is, what is the data it is providing, okay? So, let me copy paste this URL and run this, okay? So, this is providing the information in the form of JSON format, okay? I am not emphasizing uh, on this data, basically my main intention is to demo our Airflow HTTPS operator, it's okay. So it look like it is some portfolio information, okay. So uh, this endpoint is publicly available, okay. Now using this endpoint, we are going to extract the data using get method and we'll try to write the data into our Airflow XCOM and then 
uh, in the second use case we will try to transform the data and we will write the data into our Google Cloud storage bucket. So, I hope this is clear. Now, let us examine the DAC code for our first use case, right. So, this is the operator which we are going to use that is simple HTTPS operator, okay. So, this is our DAG name. So, here we have the DAG definition. So, we have initialized our DAG object by passing all this input arguments like DAG ID and uh, number of retries and um, okay, start date of the DAG, okay. Next, this is our actual task which would extract the data from our given API, okay, and then uh, it will write the data into our X comparable, okay. So, you can see these are the different parameters that is taking task ID and this is the connection ID where we are going to set up through our Airflow web UI, okay. So, we are going to use that connection information over here within the DAC, okay. This is a method that is get because we would like to extract the data from HTTPS NPAN, okay. That is where you have to use get. This is the NPAN, coming back to this URL, this is your host name and this is that NPAN from which we are going to extract the data, okay. So, here I have mentioned this is a, this is an NPAN, okay. Here you will be having the host name in this connection this is our end band, okay. If you have to apply some filter based on your data coming from your HTTPS end band, here I am not applying any uh, filter directly I am just taking the data as it is, okay. So, this will be directly written into your XCOM variable, okay. So, this is simple DAC code and uh, simple use case of HTTPS operator, okay. I hope this is clear. Now, what we can do, we will try to upload this DAC code into our Composer environment DAX folder. This is our folder. So, I will upload this code into that folder, okay. Uh, let me copy this path. This will be uploaded to our Composer environment DAX folder, okay. So, it is done. Now, you can go back to your DAX folder and just refresh this folder. You should be able to see that DAC code over here, okay. Now, we need to set up the connection for our HTTPS endpoint, okay. So, here you can come to this section, admin section. You can see here we, we can see the connection, okay. Click on that connection. Now, you need to give the name for that connection. This is my connection name. So, click on this plus symbol over here. This is the connection ID. Now, you have to select the connection type that is HTTP connection type. Like that we do have other options also, right? Like BigQuery, Cloud SQL, Cloud SSH, right? But here we are using HTTP connection, okay? Now, you have to give the host name, okay? Here this is the host name, the remaining part is endpoint, okay. So, let me give that host name, just make sure you do not have any spaces in between, okay. Now, come over here, save this connection, okay. Now, now you can see this DAG is coming up over here. This is the DAG name, right. If you examine your code over here, so, this is the DAG, DAG name, right? Demo HTTPS operator demo. The same name is appearing, appearing over here. Now, it is already successfully run. Just click on that DAG name. Whenever you upload the DAG, automatically it will run actually, okay? So, click on this graph section. Now, you can see this green highlighted color that means it is successfully run. So, if it is highlighted in a different color you can you can see the description for red failed, for yellow up for retry, for orange upstream failed something. This is dark green, this is success. Now, click on this task, okay, click on the lag.
Okay. Now, you can see this is successfully completed, there is no error at all in the log. Now, we would like to see whatever the data coming up over here, it should be available within our A flow XCOM variable also. Here you can see this XCOM, okay. click on that XCOM, you should be able to see the data is available over here, right. Whatever the data you can see over here, you should be seeing over here, okay, right. So, now this is working, right, okay. So, now here also this is one more option where you can see your data within the XCAM variable, okay. So, what I will do, I will try to rename this DAG, okay. So, I will delete this XCAM information, I will try to run this DAG one more time, okay. Go to DAGs. Okay, graph. Okay, what I will do? I will try to trigger this DAG one more time. Here we have an option, this is one way. So, other way, click on the task and you can click on clear so that it will be triggered once again. So, I will use this option trigger DAG. So, now it, it is triggered, now it is running. Okay, this is an auto refresh can see this is successfully completed once again. Okay. So, now go back to your XCOM, so that you should be seeing the data once again. Now, you can see this data. Okay. So, I hope this is clear, this is simple example, simple demo, how this HTTPS operator working within the Airflow environment. Okay. So, now we will go to the next use case that is, this is an extension of our prior use case. Here, what I will do, I am trying to use the same task where it will interact with the HTTPS server and it will get the data and it will write the data into XCOM variable. Now, using one more task that is using Python operator, I will try to read the data from XCOM variable and I will try to apply transformation and I will try to write the data into a GCS packet. Okay. So, here this is Python operator. So, this is Python callable function. So, okay. So, I have already explained about this Python operator how it works in my previous videos. You can go to my composure playlist and you can go to that video, right, to understand this particular operator. Okay. So, now go to this function. I have defined this function over here. This is the function. So, this will take our XCOM output. Okay. So, this is particular method available with the XCAM that is XCAM pull. This will pull the data which is available in the XCAM variable. Okay. Then, so you will have to mention the task from where this data is coming. This is the task, our first task okay, using our HTTPS operator. Okay. Pull that data using this method XCAM pull and put that into some local variable. Okay. Then, here I am using Google Cloud Storage Python client libraries, okay. that is storage. Using storage, I am defining a Google Cloud Storage client. Okay. So, I need the bucket name where this data has to be written okay. and also I need to define that object name or file name. Okay. This is my file name, okay. I would like to write the data into a JSON file, this is my bucket name. Okay. So, I will show you that bucket. right? once we successfully execute this DAG. Okay. So, what I am trying to do, I am just, just dumping this data into this JSON file and storing that file into this GCS bucket. Okay. So, once you want this successful execution of this first task, it will pass that information to XCOM variable. This task will pull that XCOM variable information and it will try to write the data into GCS bucket. Okay. So, I hope this is clear. Now, I will try to upload this DAG into our Composer environment DAX folder. Okay. So, upload it to our Composer environment now. Okay. Now, refresh your DAX folder, so that you should be able to see your file coming up over here. You should see that DAG appearing over here in a while. Okay. So, meanwhile, what we can do? We can examine our output 
this is bucket ok. Ok, this is our bucket you could see there is no object available ok. Once you successfully execute this dart then you should be seeing some file name appearing over here ok. So, now just refresh this dart. Now, you can see this DAG is uh, appearing over here, just click on this DAG, it has been already run successfully, okay, click on graphs once again, okay, two tasks are successfully completed, okay. now you should be seeing this JSON file okay, which is being uploaded into target GCS bucket. Okay. So, uh, over here just refresh okay now you can see this data okay so what we'll do we'll delete this object once again we'll try to trigger that tag once again okay okay let me trigger this tag once again so that we make sure it is running correctly. Okay, now, I have triggered this tag, it is running, first task is running, it has run successfully, the second task also runs successfully. Now, again go back to your bucket and refresh. Now, you can see this data coming up over here. Now, what we will do, we will try to download this data into our local cloud shell environment and we will examine the data. Okay. So, let me copy this file into our current directory. Okay. This is copied, let us examine this file, this is the file, go back to your editor, now this is the file. So, it is similar to this endpoint. Okay. Right. So, I hope this is clear okay, and this will help you. So, you can always uh, go back to your uh, our Airflow official documentation right, and uh, try to improvise your learning by exploring more and more options. Okay. And also, if you want to examine the code within the Airflow, right, just click on this code, you can see this code available over here. Okay. So, I will try to provide this code. right with my uh, publicly available git repository okay with the video description okay so so that's it for this video so thanks for watching